Hi, welcome back to Dr. O'Donovan Medicine Made Easy. In today's video, I'm going to explain how you can use hydrogen peroxide 5% solution to help remove hardened wax from the ear canal. The video is going to also contain a practical demonstration as how you can do this safely at home. For this, I'm going to be using the Otex brand drops. However, this video doesn't endorse any particular type of drops and this hasn't been sponsored or paid for by any company. It's also important to remember to only use pharmacy approved hydrogen peroxide solution in order to do this safely. So before I show you the practical demonstration, I just want to briefly explain some of the symptoms of impacted wax and how hydrogen peroxide can work to help alleviate them. So excessive hardened wax is quite common and it causes problems when it builds up and blocks the ear canal. The first symptom is usually a feeling of discomfort and fullness in the ear. This can become painful and cause dizziness and some loss of hearing if it's left untreated. Hydrogen peroxide makes removal of earwax easier. and In many cases, it avoids the need for ear syringing and it works by breaking down the earwax into small pieces that can then fall out naturally by themselves. So now let's go ahead and look at the practical demonstration of how to use it at home. So first carefully read the leaflet, which contains information about the product and how to use it. Next, turn the cap anti-clockwise. This will break the seal when you use the drops for the first time. Remove the cap to reveal the applicator nozzle. You can then tilt your head and gently squeeze up to five drops into the ear. You want to keep your head tilted for a few minutes so that the drops stay in the ear. If any fall out, then you can wipe away the surplus with a tissue. You can then repeat this on the other side if necessary and remember to wash your hands after use. Finally, you should always replace the cap after use and return the bottle to the carton. So you can repeat this once or twice daily, normally for three to four days, until you notice an improvement in your hearing and less discomfort. However, if after this period you're still experiencing symptoms, you should seek specialist advice. And that's because in some cases, excessive earwax may persist for more than three to four days, despite the softening. If the wax is very hard, the eardrops alone may not be able to clear the ear canal and this may cause some temporary loss of hearing. In these cases, you should consult your doctor, nurse or pharmacist for further advice. In terms of side effects, well, like all medicines, hydrogen peroxide 5% can cause side effects, although not everybody gets them. These can include a temporary mild bubbling sensation in the ear, which can occur due to the release of oxygen as the drops break down the earwax. The eardrops can also make the symptoms of excessive earwax worse, including some discomfort, irritation or pain, as well as loss of hearing, dizziness and tinnitus, which is a ringing sound in the ear. Very rarely, an unpleasant taste has been reported. And if this happens, you should stop using the eardrops immediately and tell your doctor. In terms of storing the medicine, we'll keep it out of reach of children. You should also not use after the expiry date, which is shown on the bottle and the carton. Once you've opened the drops, don't keep the bottle for longer than four weeks and remember to store it in a cool place and keep it out of sunlight. Finally, like I've already mentioned, always replace the cap tightly after use. So I hope you found this video helpful and informative. You may also want to check out the other video on my channel, which explains how you can use a bulb syringe safely at home to remove impacted earwax. And if you did enjoy the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for weekly medical education videos. Finally, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments box below and I'll do my best to respond to them. Thanks again for watching and until next time, bye.